Hello guys, what is up? We are back here with another video after a very long time. Um, but anyways, so yeah, that um today we'll be doing our very first tier list um video. I'm I might make more in the future, so um hit the subscribe button. You can always change your mind later and unsubscribe, and um, so you don't miss that. Um, but anyways, yeah, today we'll be ranking Harry Potter movies, if you haven't already noticed right here, Harry Potter movies, all that stuff. So yeah, that will be the video, make sure to like and subscribe, as I already said, you can always change your mind later, and yeah, alright, let's begin. We're gonna do this chronologically, so this is gonna be from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer slash Philosopher's Stone. All the way to Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2. So, we're gonna go with the first one, just like I said. The first one was pretty amazing, not gonna lie. This is what started the entire franchise, after all. I mean, it was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Like, first time I watched it, like, I was really young. And, um, I really enjoyed it. Like, I liked be introduced into the uh, wizarding world and stuff. It was pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um, there was a few stuff in the middle, uh, bit bad. Like, I think one thing, for example, is how this kind of started the whole Ron being a bit stupid and stuff, but, um, it was still a pretty good movie. I definitely recommend watching this. I'm gonna put this in A tier. It's pretty good. Um, the next up is Chamber of Secrets. This is, like, my favorite Harry Potter movie of all time. Um, this is easily going to go S tier. The reason why I think this is a really good Harry Potter movie and why I think it's better than, um, Philosopher's, uh, or Sorcerer's Stone is because, um, it has, like, a lot of comedy and horror mixed into it. And it's pretty cool to combine those two. Like, sometimes I was actually even scared of the movie. And sometimes I just laugh at the movies when I see it. It was pretty cool. And I really liked it. Like, I just enjoyed it. I don't know why. Um, there was... It was just pretty cool. Um, this is, like, my favorite Harry Potter movie of all time. So, next up, we have The Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, Azkaban. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this was also a pretty good Harry Potter film as well. Um... Some people say this is what started the darkness in Harry Potter. For me personally, I think this was Harry Potter's uh, Chamber of Secrets. Because it, it did sometimes feel like it was almost like a horror movie or something like that. There was a few jump scares throughout the movie. Um, but yeah, this was still pretty dark, not gonna lie. Um, and it was pretty cool seeing the mentors and how the, they changed the water to ice and stuff. And it was pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um, I don't really know what too much thing about, but I think it was cool. It was also pretty funny as well. Like, um, I think the uh Professor Lupin scene uh, in the DN uh the Dark Guards defense against Dark Guards, like that was pretty cool. The scene, like ridiculous. It's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um, it was. I don't think it's better than Sorcerer's Stone, or Sorcerer or Philosopher's Stone, but I still think it deserves to be an A tier. It's it's a pretty good movie. Uh, right next up is the Goblet of Fire. This one, uh, there's a lot of strong opinions. <laughs> like some Harry Potter fans uh, have this as their least favorite. Um, honestly, the movie itself, like, it was pretty good. I mean. Honestly, I didn't really see too much that stood out from this movie than the others. Um, it was still pretty dark, though, not gonna lie. Um, like, especially the Cedric's death, the final battle. It was pretty dark, like, not gonna lie. I mean, Pettigrew literally had his hand cut off. It was, um, it was pretty dark. Had some comedy scenes in it, um, and, yeah, there's... A few things that I don't like, though, is, like, first of all, why did they give everybody, like, long hair? It just feels weird. 
Like I, I don't really know. And the and the director had made some weird choices in the film. And yeah, I um I also like he heard people saying this like how the book was better than the movie because more mysteries and stuff. And I might and yeah, but the movie itself was pretty okay. Like I just don't really see anything standing out from it. I can see why some people might not like this, but I'm just gonna give this like maybe like a C tier. It's mid. Like it, it's okay. It's not bad. Bad. Like all the Harry Potter films are great. Um, but it, I don't think it's like up there with the others because like I don't really see anything standing out from it. So yeah. Um, next up is Order of Phoenix. Again, I don't really see anything. Like, too much thing out from... There's still a bunch of stuff great about it, like... Especially the final scene with all the flashbacks and stuff. That was pretty cool. I think this is better than Gotham Fire Beat here. But, um... I... Like, I don't know. The book was... I The movie was still pretty good, not gonna lie. It was a good watch. And seeing Ombre just... Like, I really just wanted to punch her, like... I swear, but... Like... <laughs> She is like the worst, like the annoying, the most annoying character in the Harry Potter, like franchise ever, like both filmed and movies. Umber is just plain annoying. Like you ask anybody, they will hate her so much. But yeah, I think it's still a pretty good film. Like all the Harry Potter films are good, and also no hate. And these are my opinions. Um. So yeah. Next up is the. Oh wait, I just realized I I read the wrong one. That was half book prints. The Sword of Phoenix. Um the that was not a mistake totally. Okay, uh half book prints. This I am um, once again it was like okay, I guess. There were some parts about it like confusing. Like first of all, in the fi like the final fight, like how is it that Draco just got up and one day he's just like oh you know what i'm just gonna go and use the van the vanishing cabinet uh cabinet plan and like just one random night and that happened to be night where dumbledore and harry left the astronomy tower and it just felt weird and how did he even know like it would like dumbledore and harry would be up in the astronomy tower i i think this is like Maybe it's slightly better than God of Fire. I don't know. I think it's C tier. Um, but yeah, I think it's better than God of Fire. Next up is Deathly Hollows Part One. This is Part One, right? Yeah. Okay. Part One. I think it's like my least favorite film to be honest. Like in the Harry Potter franchise. Um, I think the reason why is because I don't think these two movies should have been split into two. Like. It just felt weird and unnecessary, and now whenever I think of the first part of the Deathly Hollows, it makes me think that the book is just not good, which is absolutely wrong. It is amazing and stuff, but yeah, it just felt weird why they cut it into two parts. And the first part was kind of boring, like, I'd prefer to watch the second part or the first, because, and, like, it, there was some scenes in it, though, that were still good. Like, Dobby's death scene, that was just so emotional. And uh, the emotion also carries on in the uh, last film as well. Um, But this is, like, probably my least favorite one because, like, some parts are boring. I don't think they should have split the Deathly Hollows films um, in t into, like, two parts. It, it just felt weird. I'm going to give this, like, maybe E tier. Yeah, I'm going to give it E tier. Like... I don't think it's a complete failure. It was still pretty good. Like, especially Dolly's death scene. And there was a few action scenes. But, um, it could have been better. Honestly, if they didn't split it in two, I think it would have been way better. Um, and then finally, we have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2. This is a really great film. Not gonna lie. Um,. The end, I think the Battle of Hogwarts is probably what carried this film the most. And not gonna lie, it was epic. Like, just seeing those multiple fights. Though I so wish they had Fred's death scene in it. 
I would probably rate this S, but S tier, but like they didn't include Fred's death scene, and yeah, I I don't really know. I'll put this in between like Prisoner Azkaban and Philosopher or Sorcerer's Stone. Um, but yeah, that is it. Um, yeah, the eighth movie was good. Like, pretty good. Spectacular. Um, but I think the, like, like, um, I, for one thing, I didn't really like how they didn't include Fred's death. Like, I was, like, when I was little, I was, I would watch the movie and I would just be so confused and, like, how the heck did Fred die? They should have really included his death. Because it just made zero sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, and there was also some other scenes in the film which I think were great as well. Especially, like, destroying the horde cruxes, they're pretty interesting stuff. But anyways, yeah, this is my finished Harry Potter tier list. And once again, these are my opinions, guys, so, um, don't, um, have any hate on me. I, of course, also respect your opinions, like, your Deathly Halls Part 1 is your favorite, or Philosopher's Stone, or Sorcerer's Stone, whatever. Um, uh, yeah, that's cool as well, though. Um, this is just my opinions and what I feel um the movies should be ranked like. But anyways, just to recap, Chamber of Secrets S tier, its first top. It will always be my favorite Harry Potter film. I have no idea why, but yeah. Um, second place, it's Philosopher slash Sorcerer Stone. That was pretty amazing as well. Um, spectacular introduction to the wizarding world after that is um harry potter and the deathly halls part two that was pretty amazing the battle of hogwarts was a spectacular uh, like i just wish they include fred's death scene and like probably tonks and lubin's death scene as well like like it could have been better but it was still pretty cool um next up and is prisoner ask me a pretty good film, not gonna lie. Um, there was a bunch of parts where I laughed at. Um, there was actually pretty dark, not gonna lie. Maybe even darker than Chamber of Secrets. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Next up was like Order of Phoenix. It was pretty good. Um, but it, I just um didn't see too much of standing. Though it was still amazing. The the Department of Mysteries battle, the flashback with the previous films coming in it. And then Half-Blood Prince in C tier. It was, like, okay. Like, some of the scenes didn't make sense. But it was still, like, some scenes were still dark. Um, it was, like, some scenes were enjoyable. I liked some Voldemort's memories in there. It was pretty cool. I wish they include the other ones as well. It could have been a better film, but I, it's still a good film. And then after that's Goblet of Fire. It is uh, good as well. I just don't really see too much of the stands there. I think, honestly, it's the the meme. Harry, do you put your name to Goblet of Fire? I, th I think that's like the only thing that stands out from it. There's a few other things, I think, as well. But it could have also been better as well, especially the mysteries, like, some people complain about that. I think it would also be pretty interesting to have, like, more mysteries into the film. Because there's only, like, one mystery throughout the entire film that they kept. And then lastly, we have Deathly Hollows Part 1. Um, this is, um, there were still some good scenes in it, not gonna lie. Especially Dobby's death scene, that was... Like, so sad and so emotional, not gonna lie. But it, I just, they uh, kept these two films into one. I think it would have been pretty good. And, in fact, these two probably could have made it to S tier. Um, but, yeah, I just really didn't see the need as to why they split into two. Like, it just felt so weird. Like, and they actually, and fun fact, they didn't have this just for Deathly Hollows part. Um, but they had this for every single, uh, Harry Potter film, like, they kept on suggesting it, Sorcerer's Stone, or uh, Sorcerer's Philosopher's Stone, um, Timber Seekers, Prisoner of Azkaban, 
uh, Got of Fire, uh, Order of Phoenix, Half the Prince, like all the films, but it was they were all rejected until the last film. So yeah, that is my finished tier list. Uh, share your guys's um opinions on what you uh your tier list would be, um down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know down below in the comments your opinions and if you guys want more tier lists. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.